Hey Taurus, you guys. So I'm doing a singles read for y'all. And you're going to know this is your read by your energy and the hopes and fears when it comes to love. And um, so if you don't resonate with that energy, please check your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, you guys, welcome. I do hope that you'll subscribe to my channel if you like my energy. So I'm going to pull an oracle card first. And you guys have everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. All right. Um, keep that in mind. And that's going to, you guys will either resonate or you won't with that, uh, that card. So I'm actually going to pull your energy first and then your hopes and fears. I'm going to pull through the romance angels. So let's just get your energy to see who we're talking to. All right, Taurus, your energy, your energy. What's going on with you? So we have the King of Swords showing up in reverse. All right. It's quiet. It's withdrawn um, behavior right here. So you're just kind of keeping to yourself. I feel like you're not really putting yourself out there. You could just be kind of taking care of yourself. That's kind of how I see the Seven of Wands. And it's like um, when it comes to relationship dynamics, I feel like with the Four of Wands coming through, it could just be that you, you have a sense of it not coming together for you or you have no desire for it right now, um, especially kind of um, going through the connections that you've made, you know, um, this right here is just to me, it's saying that you're just all about yourself. You're not really worried about connections when it comes to relationships. And with the King of Swords in reverse, it could just be too that you're kind of being really withdrawn and quiet. Um, you know, you're not really talking to anyone, putting yourself out there in major, major ways, because right now the focus is on you. Um, and if you guys have felt like you've dealt with people who have been misleading or just kind of played with your energy or toyed with it, um, that's one of the reasons why you're going withdrawn. And I don't feel like the King of Swords is coming through as a necessary, um, as a liar, manipulator, or a cold hearted person. I just feel like it's quiet right there. You just, you're, you're keeping to yourself. All right. So let's just see what your hopes and fears are when it comes to love. You got playfulness, all right? Playfulness, um, time to recapture rom uh, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Um, and this card actually showed up in reverse. And I feel like with the reversal of this card, I just, I, ca I can't help but feel like even though you're kind of um, in, you know, in your own space, minding your own business, um, you're just, you're not putting yourself out there, you know? I just kind of feel like when it comes to the fears of love, um, that the, the magic is just kind of being withered away or drawn out of dynamics that you, you run into, you know, um, and with hope, it's like, um, having fun, like where can, where, where does the fun get put back into the relationship dynamic, you know, um, with playfulness too coming through, um, I got to tell you guys, you know, it's also kind of seeing that sense of when somebody's playing or lingering with your energy. All right. And you might, you might resonate with that as well as the past, you know, um, but again, just take it, uh, take what resonates you guys um, with that. So it's like bringing youth back into the dynamic of relationships, you know, what happened to the fun, what happened to the joy, um, you know, what happened to the, um, a honeymoon period, right? Why does everybody got to throw themselves in and get all deep? And why can't we just go with the flow? You know, that's kind of what I see when it comes to love. So let's just see who is coming towards you. All right. Who is coming towards you? This person's energy. What do we got? We got Scorpio coming through with the death card. Oh, oh, man, look at that. The queen and king of swords popping up right there, you guys. Okay. So what I'm going to say is this um, card right here. So this right here is going to be Libra. We got Scorpio. And then with the queen of swords, this is going to be um, Libra and Virgo. So this person could have any of those placements. All right. Um, around the age of 35 or old, older, you guys, it does not have to be definitive on the time uh, on the age. Um, but I do like to put the age in there just to give uh, more clarity for the, the more people who come to the channel. Um, but anyway, so the person that's coming towards you, we have um, the three of swords in reverse, which means that this person has been through a lot of heartbreak, a lot of loss, um, a lot, you know, this is right here is trans it's transformation when it comes to the heart space. So this person has been through the ringer when it comes to love and the, the feelings and the emotions of love. All right. But it's not something that they're holding on to. I feel with the death card coming through, this is it's transformation. So this person is definitely turning the way they see um, the love dynamic. They're turning, um, 
how they feel, how they think and how they've seen love, you know, and this person could be the heartbreaker or the one that was the heartbreaky. Um, but I just feel like this person's been through a lot of pain and suffering when it comes to matters of the heart space. So they're definitely coming through. And if you look at this, I mean, this is going to be a soul connection. All right, but you can't leave your window open to your bedroom and, and expect this person to jump right through it, right? I do feel like you guys are going to be um, connecting with a soul a soul level perspective here. Um, but you can't be quiet. You got to snap out of it. You know, you got to heal or whatever it is you're kind of being quiet about. You got to just, you got to turn your, your thought processes around. Um, because I do see that this person is going to come through and I feel like it, the energy is going to be very powerful. Um, the queen of swords is somebody who is very direct, very, very honest. Um, this is somebody with clear boundaries. All right. So this person that comes through, you know, and here you are over here with playfulness. Um, it doesn't mean that this Queen of Swords can't be sarcastic and fun and, um, you know, um, in, a, in alignment with that playful energy. But this is going to be somebody who does not, uh, they're, they're not going to come through and, and want games. Um, you know, they don't want to be mentally mind screwed. So let's just see what their fears and hopes are when it comes to love worth waiting for. So this person right here, um, <laughs> again, another card in reverse and the, you know, the Oracle cards, I don't really put too much emphasis on the reversal, but I kind of feel like this person, um, they're not putting their energy out there. All right. It's like this person is wanting the one divine timing is at work in your love life. Um, it could be too that this person, although going through transformation, um, they don't have a lot of hope when it comes to themselves. And I feel like the emphasis is placed back onto this person. All right. So they're not just giving their energy freely to anyone. They're not connecting with just anyone. They want the one. And that's what this person is all about. So somebody who's serious, somebody who's fun, somebody who has high energy and passion when it comes to the romantic dynamic that's what i'm kind of seeing with this person so let's just see um what this person brings to the table what do they bring to the table what do they what will they bring to your table taurus oh look at that we got abundance um right here this is home comfort security stability this is happiness right here you cannot think of any negative word to associate with the empress because she associates in alignment with all positive um um, feelings and expressions and emotions. This is somebody who's like, I'll take care of you. You know, what do you need? What do you want? I'm here. You know, this is comfort. This is like somebody who just is the full, it's the full, the, it's the full shebang. I love seeing the Empress card because there's nothing that you're not going to get when it comes to this person and their feelings and emotions and their protection. You know, um, we have the magician card coming through. This is somebody who knows how to manifest and make like worth, make life work on their behalf. All right. This is somebody who is a go-getter. This magician card is a powerful, it's a manifester card. And look at this. You have divine masculine coming through. This is the emperor before he gets the empress pregnant. Um, and becomes the emperor. So you have a divine, you have divine couples coming through here, you guys, it's a soul level connection coming through. Um, but the person right here, this is like, this is somebody who, who knows the power of their words. So it's like, you know, you speak positive into the universe, positive comes back to you. And then we got the star card. What do you want, Taurus? What do you want? Your wish is my command. All right. This person is here and I'm not going to say that they're going to lay down and cater to every single dynamic for you, but this person is willing to go the, the eternal distance. All right. To make whatever it is that you want, like your dreams, your happiness and your fulfillment come true. This person, um, they, they, they have, what I'm going to say is there's a magic about this person and they're going to be here and they're going to gift you everything that you can imagine or help you work towards that yourself. So let's see how they'll treat you. How is this person going to treat you? So we got the devil card coming through and the devil card coming through in reverse basically is telling me that this person does not want you to be scared. All right. About their energy, about the connection. This is fear. You know, this is worry. This is hesitation. It's reservation. And um, the devil card coming through in reverse basically says, you know, I'm not going to treat you like everybody else has. So the, the negative energies of the past that you've dealt with, I'm here to take that away from you. You're never going to experience what you have in the past. You got the 10 of coins coming through at the bottom of the deck, which is um this is the jackpot what do you want you know let's make a life together let's build let's grow let's hustle let's make money let's bring everything we can to our table and just build it up 80 feet high all right um look like a soldier like you know hey i got you 
I, I don't even know any other words to express with the strength card and the fact that it's coming through here. It's I got you. That's a, a huge love language. It's one of my favorite love languages, you guys. I got you, you know. Um, when you need support, I'm here. When you need a shoulder, I'm here. When you need an ear, when you need to communicate, I'm here for you. Um, I love it. And this person right here coming through with the nine of pentacles, they're not going to take away your independence. They're not going to make you feel codependent. They're not going to make you feel like, um, you know, like you need them, like they need you. Um, I feel like right here it's giving you your space, you know, granting you um, all the beauty of independence. And one thing that we find about relationships is that codependent comes in really, really heavy, um, you know. And I know that Taurus, you guys um, are, are very independent um, energy. And with the person coming through here, they're going to grant you um, all the access to your own independence. This is like, I don't need to be riding on your back. You know, I really don't. Um, so whatever, you, when you need space, I'll give it to you. And when we come back together, I'll embrace you, you know, um, it's so beautiful. So let's just see what the mutual attraction is, the mutual physical attraction, the mutual, I'm sorry for the background noise, my my little guy is having the time of his life. All right. So here we go. We have the hermit card, which I feel is fear of expression. Um, when, when this card is coming through, as far as this, what I, my intention, um, as far as mutual attraction, it's like, you guys are not going, you're not drooling all, all over one another. You're really not. Um, it's like you guys, I feel both know that you're both very much attracted to each other. You both carry space for one another and you both know that there is not another soul that's going to come through that has the, the instant, um, connection that you guys will carry. Um, it's like, you don't, your eyes, when your eyes lock, no words will need to be expressed. You guys have it. It's like this, you just, you have it. Uh, it's just this mental telepathic connection that just, I want to rip your clothes off. You know, I, that's just what I'm feeling with that. You, there is no need to verbalize it or drool or, or make it um, a big deal. I just feel like you guys are there. It's physical, it's mental, it's emotional on all levels. So let's see what the potential is for you guys to build and grow. The potential for you guys to build and grow as a team. All right. I got to pause because I dropped a card. All right. So here we got the five of uh, swords and it kind of dropped in the, you know, it's not completely in the uh, reverse or the upright. But what I'm going to say about this is obviously you guys um, even picture perfect soulmate twin flame, the best of the best dynamics that could ever come through are not going to be perfect. Okay. The five of wands or the five of swords, excuse me, is about conflict, but it's also a heavy card of resolution, conflict and resolution, you know, learning to communicate. This is not going to be a battle that we're going to carry, carry, carry. All right. Um, I just kind of feel like the potential to build and grow is moving past the arguments, moving past the stagnant phases and really learning how to talk with one another. All right. We have the queen of cups, which I just kind of feel is uh, building each other up in such a way that we reflect on self-love and self-care. Those are the two most important aspects that I resonate with when it comes to the queen of cups. And it's like, you know what, as long as this person's got their own influence of self-love and self-care, they're going to make sure that you have that same, you're in alignment with yourself when it comes to that dynamic. So this is gifting compassion, you know, to one another. It's being caring for one another, nurturing you know, it's balancing the emotional stability, um, being emotionally available, you know, removing the um, emotional imbalances and the emotional immaturity. All right. What, wh where you guys are at is a full, it's like a full scale, um, emotional reset for you guys. And then it's like, you know, you have this three of wands and I feel like you guys have the potential to grow wherever it is your minds and your hearts can take you. This is waiting for your ships to come in. And when this person comes in, um, you can guarantee that you guys are meant to push all the way forward. All right. So let's just see what you guys are meant to teach each other for this connection, what you are meant to teach each other. Oh, wow. All talk and no action coming through very strong. All right. Look at this. This is spiritual. I mean, we have the lover's card coming through the emperor, the empress, um, I believe. No, the emperor, the emperor hasn't showed up yet, but I, I got to say the magician showed up. I got to say this is a, a spiritual connection. And so spiritual teamwork right here. Okay. Um, you guys are uh, taking each other on a journey and I do feel like it is going to be very, very heavily resonated to the spiritual aspect. So not only what you guys will share with each other, each other but you guys will share with the world all right the hierophant is order its rules um to me this card also comes with patience stability it's a thriving card you know this right here is heightened energy um when 
when it comes to the spiritual aspects. And I feel like you guys are going to teach each other um, a lot when it comes to the spiritual side of, of things. Um, in the 3D aspects right here in the materialistic world, you know how we want to grab onto to situations, people, places, and things. What you guys are learning to do is let go of control. All right. And the Page of Swords coming through in reverse is a severe card of all being all talk and no action. Okay. So if you guys connect and, and there's been like stagnant energy, you know, if you're scared, if they're scared, there's going to be, um, we got to back up what we're talking about here. You know, um, you guys believe in the dynamic, you believe what's going on here. You have a strong connection to one another, but one thing is truth and honesty. Um, we're not going to do the all talk and no action, the hasty type of behavior. Right. And I feel like you guys are going to learn through some trial and error, what that is delayed beginnings. All right. How long is the delayed beginning going to happen here? And then we have the page of cups, which is all about communication. It's implementing fresh ideas into one another, bringing out your creative and intuitive sides, um, you know, sparking curiosity at, to the max when it comes to the spiritual journey and um, all, new ideas and uh, forward ways of thinking when it comes to your lives, romance, the connection, and just moving forward. All right. So let's just see what your advice is to call this connection in. Your advice to call this in, Taurus. Ooh, so you remember that uh, energy that I seen you in earlier? Like you're kind of staying to yourself. You gotta, you have to let go of whatever it is that's preventing you from putting yourself out there or making uh, contact with the external world. Okay, shut your window and go outside. No, I'm just joking. Really, you guys have to come out of the energy that you've you've been battling as of late because I feel like it's either you're you're afraid of getting your heart trampled on or you're just afraid of the idealization of commitment you have the seven of cups coming through in reverse just as well um so if you really want the one thing to come to you that is that you everybody wants happiness all right and one thing i'm going to say about the seven of cups is if you're talking to multiple people but you're not really putting yourself out there if you're entertaining other people it's time for you to pull in the one all right it doesn't matter if you're talking to 15 people if you're there is one person that's occupied your heart space or that has captured you it's time to um, eliminate the ones and then call in this one all right we also have the king of pentacles coming through in reverse which is somebody who could be obsessed with wealth and status um, a little bit stubborn you know and i'm not giving you all the the negative aspects but I did see some less than positive energy in the beginning so what you guys want to do is really step into your your earth energy tones right here put yourself out there become the leader you know you this right here is being secure it's being disciplined and it's just kind of focusing on the abundance of a connection of this connection all right that you have the potential to call in you guys all right so get out of that energy focus on the positive to come you guys deserve this so let's see what initials we got here. If your initials don't show up, you guys, it's fine. It could be the new person coming to you, um, or it could just be that the energy right here is all you need to know. We have L-I-U-F, and then we have E-I. Taurus, I'm going to leave it right there. You guys take care.